Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x equals 27. Now how do we deal with this? What we are going to do is, since we are having the same base, pick one of them, and we have x plus x plus x, which is equal to 27, according to one of the laws of indices. Now, 2 to the power of x plus x plus x is 3x, and this is equal to 27. And then, from here, remember that this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 because we can always multiply the powers and this will now be equal to 27 is also 3 to the power of 3 now we have the same power of 3 but the bases are not the same right and we want to solve this into detail so we're going to have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 let's take this to the left so we have negative 3 to the power of 3 and this is now equal to 0 because 3 to the power of 3 has moved to the left now what do we do recall that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared Okay, so if this is correct, then we are going to express this in this form, saying that our, our a is equal to 2 to the power of x, and then our b is equal to 3. Right? This is our b. Now, let's put all of this into this standard, so that a minus b becomes 2 to the power of x minus and our b is 3, so we have 3 over here. Okay, then let's have this in the first bracket. In the second bracket, we have a squared, which will be 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Let's have different brackets. We have this, then plus a b, that will be 2 to the power of x multiplied by b. Now b is 3 then plus b squared that will be 3 to the power of 2 and everything here is equal to 0 because of this now let's continue we have 2 to the power of x minus 3 close this into here we have 2 x to the power of 2 plus we now have 3 into 2 to the power of x plus 9 and the whole of this is equal to 0. Now let's solve this completely. From here we can either say that this is equal to 0 or the whole of this is equal to 0. Now I want to pick from here first so that 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 0 meaning that 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. And then from here, to get the value of x, we are going to take the log of both sides. So that log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. Remember, if you do the same thing on both sides, it will change the equation. Now, the power here can always go behind. So we have x log 2 equal to log 3 and to get the value of x from here we divide by log 2 and divide the whole of this by log 2 this is going to go with this and now x is equal to log 3 over log 2 and now since both of them are having the same base which is base 10 we can say that this is the same thing as log 3 to the base of 2.
So this and this are the same thing. So from here, we have the first value of x. If you want to get your answer in decimal form, you can press calculator and get the value of x. Then to get the other values of x, what do I do? I need to go over to this and then I will copy it out. We have um, 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, then plus 3 into 2 to the power of x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, so this is what we have. And from here, we are going to apply the formula to deal with this. Let's go very quickly. Okay, so the formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? Then, now that we're working, we are looking for 2 to the power of x. In place of x, we write 2 to the power of x and it's equal to minus b is 3. So we write minus 3. I mean b is 3, right? Minus 3 plus or minus. Then we have square root of b squared, which would be 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a. Our a is um, 1. That is the coefficient of 2 to the power of x. So we multiply by 1 and our c is 9. Okay, so the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Now, 2 to the power of x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. From here, we have square root of 9 minus 36. And this is all over 2. How did I get 36? 4 times 1 times 9 will give 36, right? Now, 2 to the power of x will now be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. Okay, when you subtract this, 20, okay, 9 minus, sorry, I wrote out of sight. Okay, so we have negative 27 because 9 minus 36 will give us negative 27 and this is over 2. To continue, 2 to the power of x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. We have square root of 27 is 9 times 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1. Okay, I have not changed anything. I brought out the negative, and then 27 is still 9 times 3, and this is all over 2. Now, our x is, okay, our 2 to the power of x is equal to, we have minus 3 plus or minus, then we have square root of 9 is 3. Right, then we have root 3. Multiply by square root of negative 1 is imaginary, so we write i, and this is over 2. Now, 2 to the power of x from here is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3i. Okay, we have 3i, then we have root 3. This is all over 2. Remember, we are looking for the value of x but from here we already have a complex solution because of this i but then to get the value of x from here what we should do is to take the log of both sides so that when we have log 2 to the power of x it will be equal to log open bracket everything here minus 3 plus or minus 3i root 3 over 2 okay so this is what we have so that x goes behind and we have x log 2 which will be equal to log open bracket minus 3 plus or minus 3i root 3 and this is over 2 right then from here since we are looking for the value of x what should we do we need to divide both sides by log 2 then divide the whole of this by log 2 we divide the whole of this by log 2 so that this can go with this 
And now we can say that our x is equal to log. We have um, open bracket minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 all over 2. Then divide the whole of this by log 2. And like I said before, since they are having the same base, we can rewrite this so that our x is equal to, we have log open bracket minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 all over 2 to the base of 2, okay, because of this. So this and this are the same. And from here, we are having a two-in-one solution, right? Because one of these will have positive value and the other will have negative value. So the equation gives us three solutions, one real solutions and two complex solutions from here. Thank you for watching.